What are the most affordable places to live in Clark County, Washington? Hey, welcome back to the Living in Vancouver and Camas Washington YouTube channel. I'm Hannah Dubine and I'm so excited you're here today because we are talking about the most affordable places to live in Clark County, Washington. Maybe this is something that you're interested in and you know, you're know you on a budget and you want to shop for a home here, um, or you're just wondering what the most affordable places in the county are. So I'm gonna go through three of my top favorites today, um, not really putting them in a particular order because they all have you know, pros and cons to each of them. And we're just gonna talk about single family homes today. As an FYI, a condo or an attached home, AKA a townhome is usually always going to be less expensive than single family homes here, but most people are interested in single family. If you can't afford single family homes right now, that's totally okay. Um, a lot of times a great starter home is a condo or an attached home. Anyways, let's get into my top three picks. The first area I wanna talk about here in Clark County is Yakult and Amboy. So Yakult and Amboy are two really small towns in the northeast corner of Clark County. They both have a population under 2000, and these are two areas where you're gonna be able to find something a little bit more affordable. This is definitely small town living, right? I've talked about Yakult and Amboy before on the channel here, and if you like to go do social things and go to restaurants every night or every weekend, this might not be the place for you to live. But if you just wanna be off on your own and you're okay being in somewhere a little bit more rural, this might be a good option for you. So the homes that I'm talking about today would probably be more in the city. They're gonna be um, on sewer and they're gonna be on public water. They're not gonna be on septic and well, even though you're out more in the country. Um, but there have been a handful of sales the last couple months in Yakult and Amboy for three bedroom homes and they've sold for less than $400,000. I'm filming this summer of 2022, so keep that in mind. But right now, finding a single family home with the three bedrooms for less than $400,000 is tough. You know, one that's in livable condition. Um, single family home prices for a three bedroom start around the 400 to 420 mark. So with a handful of sales under 400 the last couple months, that makes this an affordable place to be. The drive from Yakult and Amboy to the city of Vancouver is about 45 minutes, depending on where you are and where you're going to. So just keep that in mind. But if you're really looking for the most house for the least amount of money, this might be a place to consider. The second area I wanna talk about is Rose Village and Fort Plain Village. So Rose Village and Fort Plain Village is located right in the corner between I-5 and the 500. They're two different neighborhoods. This area is an old area of town. Most of the homes were built between 1900 and about 1980. So we're thinking bungalow style, right? Two and three bedroom homes. They don't have high ceilings, they're not open concept. Some of them are even less than a thousand square feet. But if you really like that old school charm, this might be a great spot for you. Some of these homes were well taken care of and others were not, but the heart of what I wanna to get to here is that there are a considerable number of two and three bedroom homes here that have sold in the last two to three months for around the 350-ish mark to 370-ish mark, which is pretty much unheard of in Vancouver. Um, and because those homes are so small, they are affordable. If you're looking for a single family home as cheap as you can possibly get, this might be an area you're gonna have to consider. Last area I wanna talk about for prime affordability in Clark County is the Triangle. Yes, um, maybe you've heard of that, maybe you haven't. It's not really an official phrase. I just kind of dubbed it, so don't go looking for the Triangle, Vancouver, Washington. But what this is, is it is where I-5, 205, and the 500 intersect, and they intersect in a triangle form. So in the middle of Vancouver, we have this triangle pocket of, you know, of land. Within that triangle area, we have areas such as Minnehaha, Hazeldale, Salmon Creek, Walnut Grove. They all are within the triangle. And aside from the top part of the triangle up here, which is Salmon Creek, uh, most of that area has some really great bang for your buck opportunities. 
For example, you can get a really nice, or you know, a nice livable, decent three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home there for around the 440 to 460 mark. Whereas that same home in East Vancouver or Salmon Creek or Philida is gonna cost you around 550. That's $100,000 savings, so that is a big deal if you're looking for really maximizing your value in the home. This is definitely an area you should consider. I've talked about this area before. It's really a mixed bag because it's been developed over time. It's got everything from entry level all the way up to some nice luxury neighborhoods, but I would definitely keep it on your list. Anyway, these are my top three favorite areas in Clark County for affordability. They all have um, something different and unique for each of them. They're probably all three not gonna be a good fit for you, but if you're looking to maximize your dollars, definitely consider these areas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe for my weekend newsletter, Weekend Happenings with Hannah, if you wanna find out about fun things happening in our area. And hey, if you are thinking about moving here, we'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to myself and my team at Dubai Realty Group. Um, you can reach us via email, text, or DM on Instagram. And we would love to be of service to you if you're moving here in nine days, 90 days, or nine years. Thank you so much, and we'll see you another week. Bye.